Well, I've been busy over the last hour. Everything is running absolutely perfectly, and I'm getting some applications installed. I have portable update running, searching for updates. The last good uh, Office package, Microsoft Office 2003, and with the compatibility pack, someone's at the door. So like I was saying, once you install the compatibility pack, this is as good as any new version of Word or Microsoft Office. In the time that has passed, it has searched and found all of the updates. I'm going to just check them all off and have that start downloading. And that only has 3.6 gig to download. So I'm just going to leave this thing do its thing. I have TeamViewer installed so I can access this remotely. And of course, if I have this out somewhere, I can access my machines remotely. Chrome is installed. We're doing the updates. And I have a flash drive with my applications, which I'll install at some point along the way. And it's already past 11 o'clock at night, and I haven't had my first drink yet, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I will pick this up tomorrow, continuing in this part. Well, I've been working on this machine on and off, remotely. It's just easier than standing here all day. And it dawned on me that it did say that it needed to activate and it was going to give three days and then it was going to automatically activate. And I said, well, I might as well just do that now and get it over with. Well, sure enough, it didn't activate. You can actually see down here, it says two days until activation. And I clicked on that and it said, nope, sorry, fuck you. Ain't going to work. And the only reason I can conjure up is there are slightly different versions of Windows 7 64-bit. And this particular build of it, it just didn't like. Or perhaps the fact that it has Service Pack 1 in it, I don't know. But I did call the 800 number. And I got my confirmation. And we're going to click Next. Activation was successful. Windows is activated. And my Windows experience needs to be refreshed because there was a driver update through uh, Portable Update for whatever reason. So I've installed that as that's the one that Microsoft wants you to have. And as such, we're going to refresh it. So we have 5.8, 5.8, 4.0, 3.4, and 5.3. And let's see what we get. Well, the 4 on the graphics went to a 4.1, so I just upgraded my computer. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's all working. Now, out of everything, I've done over well over 100 updates. There's still more to go. I got all my applications installed. I had the video editor program installed. I haven't tried editing anything with it, but I certainly have... Uh, you know, loaded the program. In fact, I'll do that right now. So we'll allow that to load. And there has been no trouble regarding the RAM. The only one issue was the BIOS update for whatever reason. I don't know precisely why that is occurring. Um, I'm guessing maybe it has to do something with Service Pack 1. I don't really know. This may have even come with Service Pack 1 pre-installed. I just don't know. But anyway, uh, that for some reason is not working, but everything else is. So I think what I'm going to do is ultimately finish up with the machine. And once I do that, then I will run the Dell Onboard Diagnostics. I'll just let this thing burn all day. And we'll see what happens with that. There we are. And we are now officially loaded. And I can edit video. And I'll put that there. So, it works, it fits, but it's a little... seems like a little tight. And I checked the screen resolution. And this panel runs at... 
that weird laptopy resolution of 1366 by 768. That's the highest, and that's it. You know, you can go 1280 or 13, 1360 by 768. That's interesting. What if we just hit apply? Oh, it does look a little weird. Very strange. Anyway, we'll just leave that. Seeing it even gave me the uh, optimal resolution thing. We'll just hit OK on that and check to make sure we didn't fuck anything up. Yeah, we got to set it back to 1366. And there we are. Keep changes, and that's it. Now it's time for reboot and carry on with the Windows updates. Well, I have to admit, I've been a bad boy, and I've been ignoring this machine for the past few days. But uh, that's because I've been busy. You see, in the meantime, I opened up my own vineyard and started bottling my own wine. And uh, it comes with these sparkly things in it that light up and stuff. But uh, that'll be the subject of another video. Anyway, we had bad RAM in this system, as we had discovered previously. Uh, I spent the entire day down in the basement doing stuff, so I figured I'll just leave this thing running and find out what the hell's going on. Well, off camera, not recorded, I ran my PC Check Diagnostics again and let that run through the full memory thing. Uh, last we left off with that, it said press enter to continue, and blah blah blah, and uh, then it was going to take too long, so I said the hell with it. Well, today I ran the whole thing. It took like six hours. I don't know how long it took. It was just ridiculous. But it just went on and on and on, and it found that, it found, blah, 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 blah. It found that same memory failure at that same very spot. But... It was just the one error, and it didn't pinpoint the chip. And there is actually a way to test, you know, each chip in the diagnostic thing. But it doesn't make a difference anyway, because I ran the Dell on board diagnostics. Now, it runs a memory test, and it says, hey, we ran that. Do you want to run more extensive tests than that? And I hit yes, and that ran for a couple of hours. And you see it actually tests 3.5 gig and then another 512 meg right there but it says everything passed everything has passed and it says no diagnostic utility partition identified because these machines would come with that please select ok to reboot your system that is my only option although it says press escape to abort testing that doesn't do anything because it's done everything passed otherwise it would have an error and it would give you all kinds of beeps and bad news and stuff like that. Well, it looks like we have a problem. So we'll select OK. And we're going to reboot. Boy, with the lights off, you get that black curvy thing. Unless that has to do with the uh, wine bottle next to it. No, nope, not even. Here, we'll put it back on. It's doing a full memory test because it deemed it was necessary. I have it set on auto for that, so that's why that's actually taking so long. But eventually that will clear. All right, well, that just took way longer than I thought it was supposed to. But that was like the last batch of updates. There's no more. Everything's in. All my applications are in. Everything is here. Everything works. I love that kind. And now the system works. Now, why PC Check was reporting a memory issue, but the Dell onboard diagnostics didn't report that? 
I don't know. And what I can tell you is, if this machine were under warranty from Dell, which obviously it's because of how old it is, that's not the uh, not the case anymore. But if it were, and I had gotten an error with PC Check on the memory, Dell wouldn't accept that as a warranty, you know, proof that there's a memory failure. They will only go by their own diagnostics. There are others. There's like Memtest 86 and, you know, many others out there. And they may reveal errors in the RAM that may or may not actually exist. So, as far as I'm concerned, the Dell onboard diagnostics said everything is fine, and I'm going to leave it at that. I have had no trouble with the system whatsoever, except for that BIOS upgrade, uh, which for some reason causes the system to crash. I don't know why. That's very odd. I may come back to that at a later time, but being that the system is otherwise fully operational and the Dell onboard diagnostics pass, this system has been successfully repaired. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.